Hey guys, today I want to do a quick little update video for you guys for the channel for everything where it's all going. We are rolling now into 2019, which is just insane. YouTube channel's been live for a little over two years now, if even give or take a few days, whatever it be. And I just wanted to create a quick thank you video for all you guys and give you guys a heads up on what's going to be happening in the next year. Because obviously we're going forward. This last year has been insane. I've had so much fun with it. We've grown so much. I've grown so much as a creator. Even if you look back at the first episode of Building With Whip and those things first came out, it's a lot different. Let's be honest here. It's a lot, lot different. The original videos were not that great. They really sucked. And there were a lot of errors and things that I've learned along the way. So I really appreciate you guys taking this journey with me as we can kind of grow as a community and I can grow as a creator and really figure out kind of how I want to be portraying myself online and doing these things versus like hand movements up here, hand movements down here. We don't know what we're doing. Give a big shout out and thank you to everybody who's given me support over this last year. A lot of people have really helped me grow my channel. A lot of people have really helped me push forward to where I am now. And just to name a few of those people, we got Mythical Sausage, we got Nash Crafter, Pixel Riffs, we got Arcalis, Wells Knight, Smithers Boss, and plenty of other people who I'm blanking on their names right now. But everybody, even if I didn't mention your name, I am very thankful for everything you guys have given me over the last year. It has been an insane experience. This has been so much fun. I've been really, really enjoying basically creating all this content for everybody. And those people have helped me grow my community, give me a lot of tips on how to better my channel, portray myself better online, and just further grow everything moving forward. So. If you guys see any of those, or if you're fans of any of those people, please go leave a comment on their channel for me, just as a big fat thank you from me for just all the support they've given me, all the help that they've given me over the time, and just everything that they have given me. It's Honestly, it's been amazing. Anyways, what I wanted to talk to you guys about in this video was more about my goals for 2019, what I want to be doing moving forward, how we can better the channel, what we're going to be changing up, what we're going to be focusing on going forward throughout everything here, because obviously we got to make some changes to adjust and keep on going, but I want to make sure that we're going down the right path. And this also allows me to substantially set my own goals for what I want to do in the year. And then also have you guys know those goals so you can keep me accountable for it. So if you feel like some things are slipping throughout this year or whatever, over the next little while, give me a heads up. I, a lot of things that I want to do here is going to be a lot of help from you guys, a lot of help from you guys to help me get to where I want to be. So keep me accountable, hold me accountable to it. And for everybody who's making goals for the new year, if you throw them out there into the world, your support network that you have, your family, all that stuff would be very helpful in you keeping them yourselves, which I'm a big proponent of, like make these goals, throw them out there and have other people hold yourself accountable. Because if you keep them to yourself, Nobody's going to hold you accountable for them and code is there. They're walking around doing his thing. But yeah, anyways, beyond that, that's not what we're here for. My goals for 2019. I have seven goals listed out right now that I want to really focus on. And a few of these have a little bit more context to them. A few might be a little bit better or worse, whatever. But anyways, to get into it, my first goal is I want to have more variety in video content. I feel like over the last few months, I've slipped. I took off decidedly vanilla because I couldn't commit to two... Uh, survival series there's just too much work for me there and then after that I also ended up taking out those uh, creative mode ones like the time lapses the tutorials and things like that because when 1.13 came out obviously forge isn't updated for it yet so I didn't have a way to use the replay mod so I really didn't want to start making all those tutorials and everything like that without that so I kind of stopped those and everything we've been doing has just been building with web survival which has been really fun I've been loving that loving building up that world but I'd like to actually focus more on doing some more building tutorials more guides uh, like a building school type thing stuff focused on the Minecraft 1.14 blocks that are coming out because there's so many new blocks that we have available to us that I think building with those could be really really awesome so I would love to start focusing on that moving forwards I think we can do some really cool stuff there. So hopefully you guys are out for that. Building with Whip is staying around. We are going to keep the single player vanilla survival world going. That thing is not going anywhere. We are going to keep that going for a very long time. I have no plans to stop that. Unless the world gets corrupted or unless I somehow lose the world, I'm going to keep going with it. I am having so much fun in that world and I love everything we've been doing in there. It's insane looking back at the basically 170 episodes now. Just crazy stuff throughout. All right. 
Next, talking about building with it itself, I love where the series is at, like I've been talking about, but I feel like a lot of the projects we're doing are a little bit too long. We're really focusing on doing these crazy projects, but we're sticking at them for too long. So right now, the castle is on episode 10, I believe, and it's not looking like it's going to be done within the next two episodes or so. I'm trying to push out a lot for that to make sure that happens more quickly, but what I would like to really focus on is instead of having these large scale projects that last upwards of towards 25 episodes, I want to focus on doing some five to five to 10 episode long projects. So basically every two weeks, three weeks, we're going to be swapping to a new area to keep it fresh for you guys, keep it interesting for you guys. So basically we won't spend more than one month on a single project because like, I feel like for me myself, after one month of doing a single build, I get a little bored of it. So even if we get like 60% of the way done at the end of the month, we move on to something else. Later, we can come on back to it. For the city project we have, for example, we could break that up into focusing on little regions of the city and five to 10 episodes of building up that little specific point. And then after doing that whole stuff for a really long time, it's all gonna look complete. But I don't wanna do like, City Pocket 1, City Pocket 2, City Pocket 3. Like I want to go from the city to maybe working out in the farmland to maybe working back in the mountains to maybe some Nordic village that people keep asking me about that I don't know. We'll do that eventually. But yeah, that's kind of my plan for all that stuff. I want to break it up more. I want to jump it out, get some new interest in there, keep things rolling forwards, keep mixing things up, and just having fun with it. I think we can do a lot more for this series. I think we can do a lot more for the world. So that's really what I want to focus on for that one. My next goal, this is a really big one for me. It's not really a goal, it's more of an announcement, but I'm opening up my Patreon channel, or my Patreon page. There's already the link to it down in the description below. It's been sitting there for a few weeks, and we have three people who are already supporting me on Patreon, which has been awesome. So I'm very thankful for everybody who actually went into this description and found the useful links down there and clicked on it and then decided to support me on there. So thank you guys so much for that. There's been one guy on there, I believe it's Dragon Tech. Go check him out, he's on YouTube. He has his own stuff going on he just came back. But he ended up finding my Patreon page before I posted the link for it anywhere. I created it literally to reserve my name and he found it within like a month or two and has been supporting me for like, I think like eight, nine months on there, which is crazy. So thank you very much to him. But anyways, more about what this thing is actually about. I'm going to on the screen now you'll see kind of scrolling through the Patreon page itself and there's a few goals on there, there's a few things on there and my biggest one is I want to have you guys involved in our single player world. So for everybody who supports me through Patreon, I'm going to basically put your head in my Minecraft world, but basically the way I want to do it is through that statues data pack mod. So I want to make it look like you guys are the people living inside of the city. The giant city that we have, I want to make it look like you guys are the inhabitants. You guys are the community that has helped me build this. You guys have been here for the journey. So I want to put your guys' Minecraft characters into that world so you can wander around the world when we have new world downloads and you can find your character. So more information on the Patreon page on that stuff. You guys can find links to that stuff down in the description below. Very useful place for stuff. I don't know. Go check it out. Uh, but you can find that stuff down there. My next one is a subscriber goal that I want to hit for 2019. I want to hit 20,000 subscribers on the YouTube channel. That's a big stretch goal. That's a big one for what we want. We are currently just above 8,000 subscribers. So we got 12,000 to go going throughout the new year. So everybody, I really appreciate your guys' help on this because you guys supporting the videos makes it easier for other people to find them, which is just amazing. So thank you all for that. Then going on top of that one, this one I think is actually a little bit more achievable, which is crazy to think about, but I want to go for 1 million views on the channel. Right now we are just about at 600,000 views, and a lot of those have come in the last two months. So my goal is to break over 1 million views on the channel, so hopefully we can get through that stuff together. Very pumped for that, very excited to see what we can do there. And then more about what we're going to be looking at for video content for it. I would love to add in new games to the channel. For example, we got Minecraft Dungeons releasing. I really want to check that one out. I love some dungeon crawler games. I think that could be super fun. I would really hope you guys can enjoy it. Still in that Minecraft world and everything Minecraft related. So I think we can do a lot with that one for one. The second one I want to be checking out though is Hytale. Hytale is something that has been teased like crazy over the last few weeks. That YouTube video itself is above 17 million views the last time I checked it. Which is more than the Call of Duty trailer for the newest Call of Duty game. So, you know, go Hytale. They're kicking butt over there. The Hypixel Studios is basically releasing their version of what they think Minecraft could be. And I'm so pumped for it. The building in it looks awesome. 
the scripting and it looks really cool. The mini game possibilities look like insane. And then even on that, we can do like custom creature models and there's just so much to it that I'm really excited for it. And I love Minecraft, but I want something more combat focused, but with still that building side of things. Cause I feel like Minecraft combat, you run into a room full of skeletons and creepers and you do your thing and that's it. But there's not much more than left clicking and just going. I know you PVP guys are gonna go crazy down in the comments on that, but I want something more and I think Hightail can really deliver that for me. So, but yeah, I've been, just been struggling recently with Minecraft being so creative building focused that I really want something that's more about exploring, combat, all that type of stuff. Cause like yeah, as much as you explore in Minecraft, I don't think it's that cool. Like I rather would make my own world and stay within my own area. So. So with Hightail coming out, I think we can go into that. So I'm looking at those two games. I'm also playing with the idea of bringing some city builder games to the channel. Maybe you guys will have to let me know on that one. That's kind of a little bit out of the realm of currently what I go for, but I love those games. And I think it'd be really cool. So let me know what you guys think about that. Kind of like how Corrales does his city builder let's plays. I've been looking at those a lot recently and they look super cool. So yeah, let me know on those ones what you guys think about that. Very curious to hear your feedback on that. And the big one. The one that I think a lot of people have been asking questions about all the time. When we hit 5,000 subscribers, or shortly after that, I said that I would be releasing a Minecraft server. Recently, we ran into a few issues that have delayed the server quite a bit, unfortunately. And this project was a much bigger project than we anticipated going into this. We didn't have a whole lot of knowledge looking at it to start. We didn't really know what was going on with the servers. One of my amazing mods in the Discord, Dubs, he volunteered to basically build all the plugins, build in everything, and then for an unfortunate happenstance, his computer died on him. So all the plugins that we had built out that were ready to go kind of fell through. Uh, so we have a lot on there that we need to basically redo. So it kind of pushed the, sur the survival server for the public side back a bit. However, what I want to be doing, as you guys will notice if you checked out the Patreon page already, I don't know if you paused the video and want to see that yet or not, but I am going to actually be more focusing now to get an immediate server up for the community is through a Patreon server. I know a lot of people are upset about that, I, or will be upset about that, that it won't be free, but unfortunately, the servers cost money to run, guys. I don't have the cash to be able to do that myself. Uh, be and basically you guys supporting me through patreon well a lot of that will go towards paying for the server So you guys can find more information out that on there I do still want to release that public server for everybody to play on who's members of the discord things like that So if you guys are curious about doing that to access that server eventually You're going to be one a member of the discord channel so we can verify that you're a person and uh, Not gonna be some crazy troll person on the internet who's just going to TNT and blow up everything. And two, you're going to have to be at the regular rank inside of the Discord, which basically the more you chat in there, uh, you will gain experience, you will gain ranks. And basically so we can verify that you are somebody who's a part of the community. We can talk to you for a while and see what type of a person you are before just instantly letting you on the server. So if you guys want to see or you guys want to be ready for when that thing actually releases, make sure you join the Discord so we can hang out. Look at all that stuff moving forward, all that sweet stuff that's going to be happening here soon. But yeah, Patreon server will be out hopefully fairly soon. I'm still working on that, still finalizing a few things. And then make sure you guys go check out the Patreon page, everything else. Thank you guys so much for the support. Hopefully we can bring 2019 to be an awesome year coming in here. I'm super pumped for everything we can do. Anyways, though, guys, that's it for me today. And I will catch you on the flip.